guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just popping in to kind of chit chat with you about what we are doing for the summer. It is finally the summertime, it's warm outside, and we are still schooling year round, but we are adapting a summer schedule. So, um, just kind of moving things around a bit just to give us more time and space for all the fun that we're gonna have this summer. Um, and just kind of make some room for some of the things that we've been wanting to get in and now it's the perfect time so just wanted to talk about that um i'm out here in the studio space i got this question i think the other day about how hot it gets out here it gets pretty hot but i have fans so just in case you hear the fan in the background um i have cabinets um that keep all of my products cool and things it's not so hot that um things melt or anything so um it's, it's not that bad but anyway hopefully we'll find some type of solution to figure out the cooling system out here but again like i said it's not that bad anyway the kids are inside they are making paper toys and whatever their hearts desire we're getting ready to have some lunch and then um after we eat lunch we are going to go ahead and get started with one of the first things we are doing for the summer which is the wild explorers club i'm really excited because i have been following the wild explorers club for quite some time and you guys know that i am not an outdoorsy person that's just not me but that doesn't mean that i don't want to learn how to be more at one with the outdoors you know so anyway um if you haven't heard of the wild explorers club you can find them on instagram at wild explorer club um and we just went ahead and signed up it's it's a monthly subscription and I think that it's $14 a month, but I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good option because um, I do the $14 a month, but I can use it for all of the kids. So I don't have to buy a subscription for each individual child, which is a bonus. Um, so just for that $14 a month, we get to do the, um, assignments together as a family so we're just going to get started with that michael's one of my favorite places to be michael's is having like a summer creativity camp and i think it's monday wednesday and friday monday wednesday and friday yeah yeah it's monday wednesday and friday from like 10 to 12 or something i think you pay a couple of dollars and they get to be a part of whatever cra whatever the craft is for the week you guys know that i don't really do crafts in our home and that's just not because i don't like them it's just because i don't have time for the preparation so we don't really do crafty things we just have supplies and i let them have at it and that's how we do things but you know it's nice to do crafts every now and then so i thought this was a good option to just go ahead and take them um on our schedules we have laid out fridays for our art and music days so this will probably be most likely this will be the day fridays will be the day that we head to michael's to just kind of get a little bit of arts and crafts in and be social you know so we'll do that and then what else you guys oh the last thing that i signed up for was actually photography courses I'm really excited about this. The photography courses are by a blogger that I have followed for a very long time and love her so much. And her name is Ashley Ann. Um, her blog name is Under the Sycamore Tree. I absolutely adore her. And so I thought that was an awesome opportunity to support her and then take her courses. Um, she had a sale a little bit ago. I'm not sure if it's still going on. But she cut the registration in half for her photography classes. So I think I paid $25 um, to register. And I got access to the kids course plus all the other courses that she has. And she has other courses for adults and things. And um, I'm not normally big on separating adult and kid classes necessarily. So I thought that was a good deal to be able to have access to the kid courses as well as the adult courses because my oldest could definitely take a lot of the adult courses with me so I thought that was something fun that we could just do together to have prompts and things and I don't know kind of explore and um an adventure through photography so I'm really really excited about that like I said it was $25 registration fee um, and then we can all take whatever courses are included um, but there is five dollars a month 
so after I registered now I'll be charged five dollars a month to continue on and I think that I can cancel I'm pretty sure that I can cancel whenever but five dollars a month for you to be able to just have some kind of guidance and instruction on photography so I'll leave the information to both of those things not sponsored or anything like that this is just what we're doing so um, I'll leave the information to the Wild Explorers Club and then also the snapshot I think it's snapshot photography courses by Ashley Ann or under the sycamore tree I don't know I'll leave all the information in the description box below and then like I said Michaels we're gonna do that as well what else was I gonna do yeah so nothing too heavy I just wanted to have a general structure and then leave some room to just kind of have fun um, I have a lot of Falco kid things planned um, for this summer so I'm trying not to be too stressed out about it and I'm trying to just have fun and relax and enjoy one another and we'll see how that goes okay <laughs> we shall see we shall see how that goes um, as far as the schedule is concerned I'm following a is it the same structure I'm not even sure but I basically just broke down somewhat of our days structure in our normal school week during the regular part of the year whatever you know um and i just kind of slowed it down a bit so we normally do language arts and math on a block so language arts on monday math on tuesday language arts on wednesday math on thursday like that um and instead of doing that i just assigned one subject to one particular day so we are doing math on Mondays that's kind of it that gives us room to just kind of continue on with math but lots of room for summertime fun and basically a lot of unschooling because we learn all day every day in many different ways and then what's on Tuesday Tuesday is language arts on Wednesday we'll be covering unit study work on Thursday we will be doing elective so elective is anything that falls into that category like history science um, photography course our wild explorer club that type of stuff we're doing on Thursdays and then Fridays is our art and music day which is why we're going to try and schedule to do Michaels the arts and craft workshop on Friday so that's like our general schedule and that gives me a guide so that I don't freak out about what do I do with these kids right now <laughs> or when all the many different things come up during the summertime um, and you feel a little bit flustered because you want to make room for them but you still got to keep moving too so that's how I found that it is fitting in well for us hold on let me check on lunch okay checked on them <laughs> almost burnt my food but you know whatever <laughs> The kids are having so much fun. You just give them a whole bunch of scissors, a whole bunch of markers, a whole bunch of paper, a whole bunch of tape, and they are just having at it. So that's what they are currently doing. This is our Wild Explorer Club stuff. We got the cutest sweater and our first patch. Because I am doing all three of us, I'm going to order two more patches so that we can put on their book bag. So we're going to do that today and go ahead and start with the first assignment. I'm so excited about this, you guys. This was the flyer that I got about Michael's Camp Creativity. Let me know if any of you guys have done these and how you are liking them. I just thought it was something cute that we could do. So that's what we're doing there. So we can get a little crafty. How cute is that? Campfire Stories Week 7. Um, this was actually in the discarded section of my library. And I thought it was really cute have you guys ever seen this have you read it um it's basically just the bible put into one story for kids so i thought this would be fun for us to read through you guys know i'm all about just um different versions of the bible for the kid for the kids um you know we have the uh, the the heroes the superheroes is it superheroes you know what i'm talking about that superhero <laughs> bible we have the veggie tales bible i'm trying to find a really cute girl um bible but i really haven't found any one that i like a lot so um if you guys have any suggestions or know of anything please 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 let me know so we're probably going to make our way through this along with many other read alouds that i'm excited for us to get through this summer Right now we are reading The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, so we have been enjoying that. We have only gotten through like chapter three, but I like that the chapters are really nice 
short and sweet because you guys know that I like to unpack everything so when books have shorter chapters it's a little bit easier for me to unpack things than if the chapters are super duper long what else is going on you guys it is oh graduation huh oh, you guys so I was kind of stressing out about that but I don't need to be because I can make it small short and sweet one of the fir very first things that I posted on this channel was the kids preschool kindergarten graduation and um, yeah that was really sentimental for me if you haven't seen it then I'll link it up here and put it in the description box below um, yeah I just loved it so much uh, so basically Savannah was too small so she technically wasn't school age so it was for the boys and I don't know just tender moments you guys my kids are getting so big I'm having a moment because Savannah's birthday is coming up very soon and <sighs> your friend is struggling anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and do a another graduation um, I really would like to do like a, a graduation type of ceremony every single year but I haven't gotten around to that I haven't gotten around to that just yet <laughs> because I'm extra but um, I just don't want to miss this year because technically Savannah would be moving out of pre-k slash kinder so I'm just going to let her wear Kendall's old cap and gown and let Kendall wear Cameron's old cap and gown and then Cameron wants to wear a suit and a tie and I'll get him um, another cap so that is actually back there I forgot where I got them from but um, I'll find it and link it below. I'm gonna have to get new tassels because these say 2015, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that says 15, that is a 15, yeah, that's a 15. Um, but they're so super cute and they're gonna look so cute in them, I'm so excited. I think it's totally worth it, <laughs> especially if you have multiple children and you can use it more than once. Yeah, I'm all about that. Anyway, um, I need to go finish up their lunch. I'm sorry, you guys, that this video was kind of short and sweet. Um, I know you guys like the long videos, but I will be back tomorrow. Um, and I don't know, this is like a little makeshift summer series. Today was my schedule. Then maybe tomorrow I'll talk about goals and a little summer homeschool haul. Um, and show you what I have gotten or what I collected for us to use for the summer and Yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up Make sure you are subscribed if you enjoy following our little journey and I will see you in the next video Talk to me in the comments you guys. I'm getting better at responding to my comments. Not necessarily my YouTube comments, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm a lot more active on Instagram lately, so you can find me there, but I am getting around to um, Responding and collecting all the questions and stuff for Q&A videos. So just bear with me Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you Thank you.